Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure I look a little funny to you because my one of my brows is done and the other one isn't. But today, I'm doing a brow tutorial. I'm just showing you guys little techniques that I've found that have helped me in shaping my brows so that it doesn't take me 25 minutes to shape them. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna go in with my Winky Lux brow pencil and I got this on in my September boxy charm box I believe so I really like this pencil because it's not a warm tone um, so it's perfect for me I'm gonna start off by defining my brow which is starting the um, the skeleton if you will the shape of the brow so where I want it to end my brow ends a little bit short um, so I'm just outlining the bottom of the brow and just by doing that you're gonna see how much of a big difference it'll make I'm going to go in with the spoolie side of the pencil and just brush all my brow hairs up. This is going to help make it easier for me to see where I need more product just to fill them in. I'm going to lay the pencil on its side like this and applying very little pressure, I'm just going to start defining the bottom of the brow. Even though there's a lot of gaps you can already see the difference where the brow is forming and now you could see where I need more product to fill it in so now I'm gonna lay the pencil straight ahead like this and not starting from the front of the brow I'm starting more towards the center and very lightly with a very light hand I'm just filling in where I have those gaps I want it more natural and more fluffy. So you see how snobby and like pinkies up my, na my hand looks? This makes it easier so that you can just move your wrist around and it doesn't apply that much pressure. If you hold the pencil like this, it's harder for your wrist to move your hand for you to get these very soft strokes. After every bit of product that I lay down, I use my spoolie to kind of disperse it so there isn't a lot of product just sitting in one section of my brow. Also, don't forget when you're filling them in to kind of just relax your face. A lot of us tend to raise our brows when we're focused or when we're trying to see something. But if you do that, then you end up with a little bit of lopsided brows because once you relax your face, now your arch is way too high. Also, it helps if you hold your mirror down here so you can see where the product is instead of holding it up here. Now I'm laying the pencil onto its side and I'm kind of just laying down a little more product and getting rid of some of the sparseness. In the front of the brow, I want very minimal product. Like, like so little, I just want kind of like a gradient effect. And that's what's gonna give you that kind of uh, feathery look. And it's gonna make it look like you have like your brows are fluffier than they really are. I like a little bit of sparseness between the brows because that gives it a much more na natural look, but I don't want holes, and that is what I'm fixing. For example, right here, down here on this part of my brow, I have a lot of like large gaps. That's what I'm trying to, to fix. And then I'm gonna turn the pencil on its side, and I'm just gonna round off this part of my brow here so that it doesn't look completely flat, and then it comes down. I'm just gonna round it off a little bit.
So now that we've shaped the brows and kind of filled in any sparseness, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizing Mascara. That is a mouthful. But this is a great mascara because for, for one, it'll lock your brow hairs into place. Um, two, it adds a little bit of tint and a little bit of color. And three, it's gonna add fibers, which is gonna make your brows look a little fluffier. I'm using the color Medium Brown. I'm very gently, I'm brushing the uh, wand through my brow hairs just to add more fullness. And this is a great job of separating your brow hair. And the front of the brow, I'm making it super fluffy, so I'm just flicking it up. And this is adding a little more color and it's adding some fibers so it looks a lot fuller. But again, I'm not putting too much pressure on the wand and I'm keeping a very, I'm using a very light hand. So now that all of my brow hairs are in place and I've filled them in, I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia double pencil, double sided pencil and one side is a matte side and the other side is a shimmer shade, shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna sharpen it a little bit. Oh, really? I'm just gonna go in with the pencil itself and I'm just gonna outline my brow. And just clean it up. Then I'm going to go in with this Luxie 221 brush. It's just a flat brush. And I'm going to blend out that concealer. And that's it. So that is how I've been doing my brows lately. I really like it because it's super quick. It's super simple. The products that I'm using are not crazy expensive. But I hope this video helped you guys out in learning how to fill in your brows, kind of giving you some tips and uh, starting your own little brow routine and making it easier because those 20 minutes, 25 minutes I used to spend on evening my brow, I'm filling out my brows and making sure that they were even, mm -mm, girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're interested. And uh, leave me some comments and some tips and tell me what you guys do to fill in your brows and what product products you like. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.